car to right here. Some of you might have seen this car before, you might have heard of what it's done before. I am here with the owner, Shirendra Lawrence. Tell me, Shirendra, in a nutshell, what does this car mean to you? More than it's sort of uh, what it is today, it's, it's a long time. And I thought it at the time when we got it into the sport. And uh, but it's something that was just a bit different to a conventional car. And it's always it's attractive because of the mid engine, rear wheel drive. So I've had it for a long time, something like 20 plus years, so it's kind of got a bit of a special place. But then over the years, uh, initially it was raced very much in the, the, the standard trail. Um, and then subsequent to sort of closing that chapter, it's progressively been upgraded. More recently, it's kind of got sucked into the drag racing scene and uh, it's a bit, a bit like to get caught more and more, so keep it more and more and more. So now, so now the car is more or less in the same trip, more or less in the same thing that we used when we drag race it, but uh, the difference is now it's been had it put back into very much road worthy condition. So it's very drivable on the road now. It does have a kind of wild side to it when you want to, but other than that, it's it's fairly drivable on the road. The AC works, it's fairly comfortable. It's quite special, yeah. Tell me, Shiranda, a bit about the engineering side and the research and development side that went into pre making this car what it is today. Okay, so first I have to tell you that the, 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 the magicians behind this are Sasha and Sabri. And Viret also played a big role in uh, getting this together. So it's, it's, it's running a, basically the original engine, the 4AG engine, but it's been rebuilt ground up because the power has been increased from the original power of around about 120 kilowatts per hour. came in and uh, came up with the design which is basically a, a liquid intercooler which is quite unusual for this um, uh, in the rear here and it's piped to the front so that the, the liquid being water is cooled on a heat, using a heat exchanger at the front so it, it enables us to keep the, the body shape quite stand close to standard um, and as a result it's basically running a, it's a, it's a strengthened 4AG engine uh, obviously the fuel systems are happy to, to give it the fuel it needs to get the power that we get out of it. It's, it's got a uh, Garrett turbo. We actually have a couple of different turbos when you're using it for sports, slightly bigger one. We're running a, a GT28, I think, at the moment on it. Um, we've got the GT32 when we're, when we're running in pure motorsport mode. And it's, it's a bit too difficult to drive on the road with actually. Run, basically, take the old turbo. And beyond that, it's unforgiving drops. I'm not quite so sure I'd want to hang on to this and, and the surface isn't necessarily as flat as you'd like it to be. But I've driven up Mahagastada in the past. We actually it standard trim for many many years right at Mahagastada and for that it has a it has a TRD LSD which we had to put which is still on the car. Make means that when you go around any bend it, it, it sort of shudders quite a lot because it's got a very aggressive LSD to make sure that at least the two wheel drive at the end of the day we manage to keep the power on both wheels which is pretty helpful when you're trying to put the amount of power it has done. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Shirendra. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot.